the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. The second angle is 35 degrees more than the first angle. And the third angle is 25 degrees more than the first angle. What are the three angles? Let's start with a given. Ito yung given natin. Mag let x tayo. So since hindi man natin alam yung first angle, so lagay natin dyan, let x be the first angle. Then, yung second angle naman, ito second angle, B, 35 degrees, more than, so plus, yung first angle na X. B, the second angle. Then itong third angle, so 25 degrees more than the first angle. So 25 degrees more than the first angle. B, the third angle. Now question, what are the three angles? So, ito yun. What are the three angles? So, solve natin yan. Let's show the solution. Okay. Ipag-add natin ito. First angle. Second and third. Okay. So, X. Yan. Then, ito naman. Plus 35 degrees plus X. So, ito naman yung third angle. Plus 25 degrees plus x. Remember, when we talk about triangle, automatic yan, 180 degrees ang total. Pero later, depende yon sa klase ng triangle. Ito, equilateral man to. Yung meron namang mga iskalin, Meron din isosilis. Okay. A total of 180 degrees. Yan. Pag triangle. Then combine the alike terms. So meaning, ito yung mga magkapareha ng terms. Mga x, x dyan. Hmm. Pag samasamahin, Tapos, ito namang mga degrees ay pagsama-samahin. Okay? Raise ko muna. So, 6 of x plus x plus x. Kasi tatlo man yung x, oh. Yan. Tatlo man sila. Pag-combine natin silang tatlo. Then, plus itong combine natin ito sila. Mga degrees. Mga constant yan. So, 35 
degrees plus 25 degrees. So, copy 180 degrees. Now, let us get their sum accordingly. So, so three variables na x, x, x. We have three x and plus. So, 35 plus 25 degrees yan equals 60. Then, ikapi itong equal sign, then 180 degrees. Well, we're not yet done. Continue dito. So, ikapi yan muna yung 3x. Plus 60 equals 180 degrees. Then, may repeat 60 degrees yan na para hindi makonfuse. Yan, mga degrees yan. So, the copy, 3x. Then, ito naman para... Ma transfer natin dyan kasi constant, ipagsama man natin yung constant na 60 degrees at 180 degrees. So, paano? Ganito. Minus 60 degrees. Then, sa left, mag minus 60 degrees ka rin. Sa right. So, 3, yan Cancel yan. Then, 180 degrees minus 60. We have 120 degrees. Since 120 degrees, ito man yung may variable. So, we divide natin si 3 by itself. Start left. And then sa right. Cancel. Then x, the value of the first angle is 120 degrees divided by 3. That's 40 degrees. Okay. 40 degrees yan. Ngayon, paano ba natin malalaman kung yan ay tama? Okay. I-check by checking. Okay. Since 40 man ang value ng x, mag-checking tayo. Okay. I-checking natin ha. Okay, since na-discover naman natin ang value ni x, which is 40 degrees. Okay, si 40 degrees, i-substitute natin sa mga angles na describe sa problem. Diba ito yung first angle? Sa first angle, according to the description, is x. Ito naman yung second angle which is 35 degrees plus x. Then sa third angle, we have 25 degrees plus x. Okay, obvious naman na ang value ni x ay 40. So, isusulat mo nito, 40 degrees. O, ayan, nakuha na natin yung value ni x. Yan yung first angle. Sa so second, 35 degrees plus 40 degrees, we have a total of 75 degrees. Dito naman, 25 degrees plus 40 degrees we have a total of 65 degrees. Now, ang tanong, tinan natin kung may ano ba? Equality. Pag-add natin yan lahat, kung 180 ba yung sum nila. So, let's have the first angle, which is 40 degrees plus 75 degrees, plus 
65 degrees. Di ba? 180 yung kanina. So, 40 plus 75, 115, 115 plus 65, we have 180 degrees equals to itself, which is 180 degrees. Now, since iba-iba yung sizes, merong 40, 75, 65. The kind of triangle na na-discover natin ay iskalin. Meaning, hindi magkapareho ng angles. Yung ano, uh, measurement ng angles. Akala ko kanina, equilateral. Akala ko din, isosilis. Yun pala, iskalin. Kumbaga, walang magkaparehas ng size o oh, measurement or ang uh, yung, yung angles. So, ito yung possible na itsura. Okay. Sana may natutunan na naman kayo sa geometry word problem. Maraming salamat.